In 1871, Chicago was booming, exploding and chopping and building. The Windy City was sucking in everything from nearby businesses, next to houses, next to mills, next to nothing was not developed. A disorganised body with a dry wooden skin. And it's getting pretty chilly in the Windy Wood City. A six week drought no doubt means dry wood is stocked up for the winter. Stoking up the fireplace, warm in their homes. And then, as rumour goes, Catherine O'Leary's cow kicks over a lantern and the whole lot went up. Like Tinder, it swiped right through the city. Flames walked faster than you could run, strolling through banks and hotels and offices and rivers so polluted that the grease on the black water was like wildfire. For two days it burned, 300 dead, a third now homeless, and the pitchforks all mm. prodded that cow. Though the journalist admitted that his cow story may have been bullocks, O'Leary died years later, still heartbroken and full of guilt. But she needn't have. Chicago had exploded, then regrouped and rebuilt and elected Joseph Medill as their new mayor. A decision that was wise, but not entirely precise. Among the things to burn, the voting records. It was hard to stop guys voting twice. But by 1890, the population had tripled. The ashen land exploded again, and advances made in building meant Chicago now was growing up. It was made of steel. It was made of stone. Chicago's changed a lot since then, but still quite windy now, and in 1997 they finally cleared O'Leary of guilt. And they also cleared her cow. Mm -hmm.